Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So today it's Monday the 19th of November and here I am at um, an allotment site in the Withington area of Manchester. And um, yesterday I actually came down here uh, to view some of the plots uh, just through the gates there. And... Um, along with uh, well there was a group of five of us uh, and I was third on the list we went round and had a look at some of the plots and um, the ones that were on the offer were for me totally unsuitable very overgrown um, a lot of work would be needed to get them back to growing uh, conditions however uh, on the walk round as I came back um over there there's the that's the community shed if you just zoom in on that that green um building there that's the community shed and the lady that was taking us around she pointed out these uh raised beds here and said um would i be interested in because i had mentioned that i wasn't really looking for very overgrown plots and um she mentioned i'll get out of the car in a minute and show you the plot just ahead there um and uh i said yeah i'll take it because um not much uh in you know involved in using a raised bed and more than adequate for my growing so i'm gonna nip out now because it's still raining which is a problem for filming but hopefully i can get uh, some footage on the um, phone camera. So, closer look now at my um, allotment. I would say these raised beds cover this, an area of say three feet by forty feet. Um, so, I would reckon that's about a quarter, a, a size of a quarter plot. Um, because if you think about that, these plots. Um, you have to incorporate paths and stuff like that and that and raised bed i don't have that issue i don't have to worry about uh, making paths and um, access areas um, this looks like barrage here so the stuff that's growing in here i don't know what it is but i am going to clear all of it out it's not probably stuff that i would eat anyway i've got my plans uh, I know exactly what I want to grow in here. Um, if there are some decent vegetables still in here, um, once I've cleared it, maybe it'll be a bit clearer. Perhaps there might be some root vegetables still tucked in there. Um, we'll just have to see. So I'll do a bit of tidying today. And um, I'll have a, a quick look at some of the uh, areas around this allotment now the condition of the oh gosh there's some mare's tail there yeah it gets everywhere this stuff and it's very difficult to get rid of um, I've had previous bad experience of mare's tail on another allotment I had many years ago the outer condition of the raised bed there are some areas where it's bulging um, the council who own the site, um, we're just the tenants, they don't have the money to repair these uh, raised beds. That one I think was reduced to single level when they start to collapse like this one here. So this is just the beginnings of the deterioration. I'm hoping I will get at least two years, at least two years growing out of this uh, raised bed before it starts to become a problem um, hopefully by by that time they will have made the committee have accessed some funding maybe through a charity to keep these in good nick there's a wood chip pile there which is for the whole community uh, usually people put that down to create paths over there they have the green bins and there were some plots over there that they'd offered but um, there's no proper soil on them. I'll do a walk round of the allotment another day but just get back to my um, raised bed 
where I've done a little bit of weeding. I've just emptied the weeds into the, the green compost bins they've got here. I don't have a compost bin of my own yet. And um, just managed to clear this area here. And what I'll be doing is getting some cardboard to put over. And obviously I will be coming back on other days, hopefully when the weather's a bit drier. So thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.